hey guys how's it going today i'm going to show you a very fast and easy way to use this auto rigging system so basically even if you like make this just basic setup it would take some time but if once you are able to make the setup then you can reuse this very easily and change and like change the characters for the same animation easily and very fast so let me just show you what i have done here first and then we can just um go like we can i'll show you how we can easily change the uh, the geometry of this so basically let's see if we if i have this geometry it's a basic basic geometry which i have downloaded from mix ammo and i just separated it here we have the geometry and here we have the skeleton outscale and in this new geometry road i'm using two object merges then i'm just going to do uh this thing skeleton setup it it's a bit time taking but still it's very important so basically one issue with apex is it cannot work with namespaces on the joints so whatever joints either you can create all the joints from the scratch in houdini else you can actually bring them from out which is also very f like i i f i thought like it's easier and faster to use the joints and skin which is already there because you can actually use like uh, houdini skinning which is very good and very advanced and very procedural but i felt like to like just to understand um how apex work i had to like not focus on skinning right now and but how it actually works so right now here what i'm doing is i'm renaming the all the points which has skinning of all the joints from this thing from mix ammo um, namespace to that and here as well for the joints i'm using uh, hips instead of like if you see here let me just go back for a second if i click here and if you see here we have a namespace mix ammo hips so basically if you see here let's say this this is our skeleton setup and then here what we are doing is i just created one extra joint for root because we kind of need a root joint for this and then i did some colors and then set up text tags tags are very important in this thing apex so we kind of have to tag uh, important gents like leg tag arm tag then limb um like mid and root like that and others as well and then left right then locator for cog and transform then ik tags similarly like for this we have to also create a guide setup guide setup basically does is like it gives the position to apex uh, from where we have to put a um so if you see here i have created pole vectors and all many things here but basically it, it may look like it's a lot of things but it's nothing you can probably even once you figure out how it's done you can easily do this and it's just like creating the positions of the this thing um guides or the control positions so for after that not all of them are required just for the pole vectors basically and anything extra you are doing so here we have to pack packing is very important because without like apex work on packed folders so here we have to name this it's a bug and not like a bug bug but they haven't done it properly so if you if you change uh this thing i'm not doing it right now if you change the input this will go and it won't come back and you would have to write it again so shape means mesh and scale base means the skeleton and guides mean the guides for this and now we have this basic fk transform rig here we create the fp transform rig so if i press just press enter we see that all the joints which we had have a fk control basically and then we just put a uh, transform controls which are our, uh, i think cog and yeah cog root main then there is spine this is a spine module so here you can see there are different modules so i'm using spine here and then arm ik um, ik's leg ik's and then bone deform is basically skinning i just didn't want to go to the as hassle of creating the skin in here so i just i'm just taking the skin from what it has came in the fvx so after this we have here the configure controls and i'm using the some of the controls from these are from houdini and some i've created here which i actually took from another someone else's file to um use but it's kind of i'm not using too much just this one and this one which is all right and then we're using scene animate scene animate what scene animate does is it creates we use it for animation here i have added all the animation like it's just a pose like it's sitting like this 
right so there's a scene in Vogue which actually exports what I need to export and then unpack this for export and we just have this here and if you see here we have what do we have we just have one point basically and that is because this 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 is like a packed geometry which is unpacked like this is just a geometry a one point right if I do this there is just one point here you see so which that's why it's extremely fast um let me show you how you can change this character very fast so basically let's go to mixamo you can use any of these characters i just want to show how you can easily upload your character what i did was i took one of the character from here i don't know where it went but one of the character from here deleted its uh, joints and let's upload that character first so basically let me delete this because this is the test i did but let's upload this character Sorry, just a second. It's gonna take a second. So basically, we have this character which I actually downloaded from Mixam only, but I deleted all the joints. So now we don't have any joints here. So basically, chain. I'm just doing this very fast, so it doesn't have to be correct or anything. I just want to show you how easily you can do this. Try to keep them straight so the pole vector works properly, and the knees in between, basically, mostly here or somewhere here is fine. This is all right. For now, it's all right. Doesn't have to be proper. You can actually really fast change the joint positions a bit and then test stuff, right? So now we are done and just click on next. So it's gonna like create a skeleton on this, which will be very fast, to be honest. We can easily create like these rigs from Apex. Apex is extremely powerful. I recently saw a video on uh, if I still show you. Um, if you see here, get content library. There is a guy who has created this this one, and um, Pogan Lasha. I don't know how to pronounce his name. I'm sorry if you ever watched this. I'm sure you won't. Um, but this video is extremely. Like very very nice he's explained a lot of stuff here and what he has created is very nice like you can easily learn stuff from this rig it's very basic but still so nice um, can be used for so many things and he's actually like showing how you can actually use in cr crowd as well but then ml skinning too which is super awesome which i haven't seen yet there this video like he is showing some stuff um first let's just mute this yeah check this out so basically he has created this rig and it's able to do so much stuff so yeah we have our character rigged here let me just close this and we have our character rigged here and let's just press next and let's just press next once again and we can just download the t-pose which is skinned right we have a we get a joint and we get um, a mesh which is skinned we can actually put animations here and check you see this animation if we put we can check if it's fine it's still very good you know like for basic skin it's very nice i really liked it. so we have done this now let me uh we have also downloaded it let me go back to houdini here what we're gonna do is let's come here and let me change that to what's the time nine six so basically this one is the one all right we have a new character here and uh, let me see the g ones all right it's too black to for us to see huh let's change this to maybe matte cap shaded yeah it's easier now to see so right now if you see this thing uh we have a new geo here let's go and it's not updating right now but once it updates once you update the scene animate it's gonna update but first we should always do i don't know if they have solved this or not it does it usually was not updating automatically but you just select these and click here so it updates the um this thing all the apex graphs then let's check the configure control which is actually fine we don't need to change too much stuff and then let's go to scene animate here we're gonna reset custom so we're not gonna reset the animation but we're just gonna reset all these and let's just accept so right now if you see this has broken our this thing uh this thing 
this happens when the ten tangents doesn't match like or there's a problem in the tangent or some joints are little backward or forward but this we can easily fix what i'm trying to say is like there are so many examples which we can use to easily fix this and we can actually uh, use another character as well to just see how easily it changes the character so if i just put select these and this maybe we can try and select that as well okay let me just put a key here and let me just put one more key here all right let me just delete this key what is that let me just delete this key so we kind of have fixed the our pose right it's like we surely do need to adjust some stuff because you know it's too stretch but i'm not actually an animator but what i'm saying trying to say is it's very very easy to replace the characters from here to here also like uh, let's try some other character as well one more time so we can see let me just go back so we have the original animation which we had hmm. okay yeah so right now it's like this right let's get another character maybe okay let's go to characters Try this maybe. Mm. Okay, let me remove the animation. Just want to depose character. All right. Oh, I have already downloaded this before. Maybe. Oh yeah. Okay, not problem. Let's check. So one other issue which it can have is because of the namespace changes. So there I am like I've hard coded the name there. Let's say 33. Maybe let's take this. And um, let's go here. And the form. Let's come to here. You see it is broken. That is broken because the namespace here is Mixamorix 7. And apex doesn't work with this thing so we have to go here and in the python i will change this to seven and here as well mix amorix seven so what's gonna happen is it's gonna fix everything else automatically you don't have to do anything here if you see we have the configuration let's configure controls let's go to scene animate reset custom let's reset these and we have it here you see because the volume and all are different the side height of the character is different obviously the animation is going to be broken a bit but what i'm trying to explain is like we can easily do what could have taken a lot of time in maya and a lot of scripts probably but like changing real time character with any in the animation file is very um very tricky right we can do this with bifrost or maybe there are so many ways but it's so fast here and we can basically have a hda and that hda can be used by the animator they just need a hda and they just use a scene animate node and that hda can be saved at a file directory we can just publish our character and that hda can update so we can in real time we actually can update the character stuff and they wouldn't even have to reload it like basically if they just click like that and the character is loaded you know or just reset the and custom reset the animation from here like like those things but what i'm what i'm trying to say is it's so fast and so easy to do with this houdini and the best thing is that it's extremely fast why i'm saying it extremely fast is because this guy showed me and i kind of got inspired let's try and see his youtube maybe Okay, let's search this on YouTube. I'm gonna show you this. <coughs> Sorry. So here, I show you one thing, which is and okay. So yeah, here on as well, here only, he's showing the 
same rig with same features but the difference in frame fps that's the most important thing because animators would love to have this rig even even with this basic functionality this year you can see 20 fps that 115 fps so i know that right now there are very less people who who actually animate in houdini but with time see this 24 fps running fast very easy it's a 6 fps so what i'm trying to say is uh, maybe in future when we actually start animating in houdini this will be a very nice tool and one one thing which i want to mention is there is one thing called crafts so let me show you one thing it is extremely like hard to understand right now but network view i'd like to show it to you here maybe or maybe i would have to unpack back folder and here i will write rig first because it's else it's gonna unpack everything yeah you see it's very hard to understand it and the rig is and then like add it graph there is an apex added graph you have to add, you can like this is the custom place but what i don't like about this is you cannot actually like lay it out properly these are all these all should have this much space at least to read them properly but <laughs> that's what i'm saying it's still new but with time it will be better and i feel like after some time we can do a lot of things i know how to like i have tried this i've not edited in this character but i know how to do ikfk planned which is so nice it's just like uh i would have to duplicate the original joints two times like how we did in the older times and like have two sets of joints one will have ik one will have fk and like move it with i don't know uh slurp maybe or yeah probably slurp like we will we will use like linear interpolation i don't know what s means in slurp but lerp is inter linear interpolation and we can use a, a value or something to change a and b and then have basically easily use i kfk plan so that's all i think but i really want to emphasize that this is super awesome this apex super awesome has a lot of capabilities is extremely fast and i feel like it it will be hard for people who are just starting or who have not worked with like these modular rigs from nodes and all the other thing is that if you see here um one, one last thing sorry guys uh, here we have these components right like smooth ik these these are just basically i think scripts which automatically create the this graph but we can actually create all of this from scratch so whatever we are seeing here then i just say fk so if we just unpack this and just go here let me show you this is basically just taking all the joints and then adding adding like a transform object to them and nothing else like basically initializing transform it may look like so big right now it's it's a tedious process for doing all of these joints but i feel like with time we will be able to do this very easily or with with python right python is so so easy to work with if you have working in maya and using python it's so easy right so with time probably we can use the um this thing i don't know how to even navigate this i can scroll this but how oh wow I'm not able to navigate this with alt or this thing, anything. Alright guys, I kind of have to go into a meeting. Have a good one.